Listen on DAB Plus. Watch it live on your smart TV. Ian Collins. Short Radio. Uh, I'll come back to some of the more reasonable texts that uh, we can read out that doesn't upset the Illuminati. Uh, and there are a few, by the way, making not unreasonable points. Um, uh, let's continue though, on this issue about you, the, the effect that lockdown has had on kids, uh, which has been huge, I would say. You know, I've seen it in my own um, family and kind of connected area as well. Claire's in Brighton. How are you doing, Claire? Hi, I'm all right. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, on this very point, um, what's your own story here? Um, I am a single parent of, um, he's now nine, but obviously when we started, I think he was about to turn seven. Uh, wow. Then it feels time, like time flies, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah. Um, and he obviously has a single mum. He's my only child. It was literally us and my disabled mum. So mm-hmm. uh, lockdown was quite an experience for him socially. Um, it was quite a tricky one and, and he sort of came out of it a lot shyer a lot more withdrawn and now we're trying to you know start things like clubs and school and oh. notice quite a considerable change in in how hard it is to get him to interact with other people we forget don't we the and do you know i didn't realize this because you've just cleared hit on something when my little boy went back to school uh who's eight he's now eight um there were a couple of kids and they sort of met up on the green, you know, there's a green by the school, that kind of thing. And um, a couple of them burst into tears because uh, they didn't know what to do. And I just thought, wow, we sort of forget as adults, they've never really seen other kids for near on a year, it seems. Yeah, I think even we forget that I, I'm really rubbish True. more than ever. I'm, I'm just, this is little things of trying to socialise again. And for him, like, going back to his club that he used to go to every yeah. week I'm still struggling like he still doesn't want to go he still stand at the back and sort of not be sure so there's been a quite a change in him and yeah. his anxiety levels have risen quite a lot as well he's quite anxious to do anything if we just want to go out yeah he doesn't really want to so much I've really noticed quite a difference and it's quite worrying because obviously I can imagine a lot of other parents might have seen similar things and yeah and how we improve it really and I, I guess also there might be something I, and I don't, I'm, I'm kind of guessing here, but, you know, obviously being in isolation, not seeing your friends, not going out, not being able to go anywhere. There's that, that's all the obvious stuff. But, you know, at that age, um, and your little one is not dissimilar age to mine, they also know what COVID is, right? They're aware of this thing called coronavirus. So it never occurred to me until fairly recently either that, that I wonder if that has an effect on them. They're aware that this thing is out there and, you know, they're, they're now more aware because lots of kids at school have had it. And it's you know, that, that in itself must have been pretty daunting for kids. Yeah, no, totally. And I think especially now the levels are huge. I mean, before at the start, we didn't know anyone that had had it. But now each week we're getting notifications and there's someone in his class that's got it and or someone's mum or dad. And and he's very anxious about, oh, I don't know if I want to hang around with them at school because their mum's got it at the moment. And and he's always cautious about that sort of thing. And I think because he's scared of me and, and his grandmother getting it because we're quite vulnerable people. Um, yeah, physically. So and I think back then he used to be scared to go out. We'd walk the dog, but he'd be what if we get it what if we catch it by touching a yeah yeah thing so um he was very aware of it yeah but i think with him i was he was feeding off of my anxiety as well as an adult of what if we bring it back and yeah i think there's a lot of work i need to do with him on how to minimize his anxieties really sure uh i should mention you run a blog as well is that right i try to yeah (laughs) i write about sort of mainly mental health for children and adults actually because I have my yeah. own mental health issues and, and mm-hmm. things, but I'm also a social worker as well for kids gotcha. in care so sort of a lot of- wow so you're, you're sort of surrounded by this narrative uh, quite a bit the mm-hmm. blog is called pessimist I'm bound to say it's not very optimistic is it oh uh, it's single parent <laughs> pessimist yeah but it's like <laughs> a, sort of a, a sarcastic <laughs> I'm trying to I like it I like it listen Claire thank you for sharing that with us good luck with everything and I'm sure those uh, the little kind of notches and, and, and detours that a lot of kids are finding themselves having to take will eventually iron out. On the same point, Princess